the Crafty Girls. Today we are going to do a slime Q&A. And we're gonna talk about something very serious. What to do when your slime goes bad. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. So we're gonna show you how to fix your slime. And it works most of the time, not always, but most. If you're new to our channel, we're so glad you're here. I'm Annalise. And I'm her twin sister, Julia. And we have an older sister named Rachel. Rachel is in other videos. If you like what you see here, please hit that subscribe button. And click the thumbs up. Now, now on, on to, to the, the video. video. So the first thing we wanna do is answer the most common questions that we get on slime. First, we get why saline solution instead of borax, a liquid starch, and laundry detergent. The reason we choose saline is actually twofold. Number one, in many countries you can't buy borax. So when we did a video with borax, we had so many comments where kids said, I can't buy borax because there's no borax. So I can't make slime. But saline solution and eye drops are sold all over the world. The second reason is for safety. A lot of you are commenting now how dangerous borax can be. Saline solution is made to put in your eyes. It has boric acid in it, but much lower amount. In fact, you can't make slime with just saline solution. You have to also have the baking soda or it won't work. That is the biggest reason why we use saline instead of borax. We have had a million comments to make slime without glue or slime without borax. Every slime that you make is going to require PVA glue and some form of borax. Unless if it's an edible slime or toothpaste slime, which is probably gonna fall apart really quickly. You're just not gonna get a good slime without those two ingredients. If we find a way, we'll show you. Now we wanna talk about fixing slime. We used to throw away our slime all the time. And one day we discovered there is a way to soften it again. So if you leave your slime out and it dries really hard, there's no saving it. But if you've had just added a little bit too much borax, or if it's been in a container for a couple months and it's getting a little too stiff, we could probably save it. So we're gonna go ahead and show you. This is our emoji slime. It's been in a container for about two months and it's stiff. So we're gonna get a bowl and add a little bit of water, like one or two tablespoons. And we're gonna put it in. You just wanna really knead it and put your knuckles in it and push down on it. At a certain point, it's not like, it's gonna literally feel like it's falling apart. And then once you kind of knead it all together, after a while, it will really come together and it should be more stretchy. If it's not, you can just do the process again. This can take a while. So you have to have a lot of patience. And I don't. When your water gets absorbed, you can put another tablespoon in. We actually don't measure when we do this. We just make sure it's a very small amount of water. We find the quickest way to ruin it is putting too much water in your bowl. You'll end up with slime that just drips out of your hands. And again, no saving it. Now we will warn you, this is not gonna be fresh like you just made it, but it's going to be a lot better than your old stiff slime. It's falling apart. <laughs> Keep on working it. And here's our emoji slime now. It's so much better. This one is gorgeous, but stiff. So we're gonna see if we can soften this one up. This looks so pretty. Here is the glitter slime. This slime is so awesome now. It totally just got fixed. It's good to go. So we hope that you guys like this and we hope that it helped you. And we do plan on doing a slime collection soon. We know that a lot of you have asked us for that. And we would have done one already, but we have thrown away all of our slimes. So we have been starting over again and collecting them. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. And actually, share it with your friends. Really do. I'm Annalise. And I'm Julia. Thanks for watching, you guys. We love you. Bye.